hi welcome back to my channel huh why am i looking like this and where i am now honestly i really don't know goku suddenly appeared to my room earlier he said he watched my video lesson number three about compound words and he heard me asking if who will win if saitama and him will fight each other then he brought me to this dimension can you believe that maybe he's angry to me Anyway, if you fail to watch our video about it, I put its link in the description box below. I'm still thinking if who owns this suit and why am I wearing it? When he brought me here, I just suddenly see that I am already in the suit. Huh? Who? Black Goku? A bad guy? Hey, wait! I'm not a bad guy! Maybe I'll just talk to him later about this. By the way, Please support me in other social media platforms. You can follow me on Facebook and on Twitter. I put its link in the description box below. Before we proceed to our lesson for today, please like this video as your support to my channel. Share this video to your friends. Share the happiness. Subscribe and hit the notification bell for you to be always updated to new lessons that I will upload here in my channel. For starters, let's have a spelling. I want you now to get a pen and paper. I'll give you 20 seconds to prepare yourself. Spelling number one. Spell the word submarine. A submarine is a warship designed to operate under the sea, just like our examples here. The example I like the most is this one. SpongeBob is playing with his toy submarine. <laughs> to spell heir. Heir is a person legally entitled to the property or rank of another on that person's death. Our example here is Prince Charles. Charles, Prince of Wales, is the heir apparent to the British throne as the eldest son of Queen Elizabeth the second three spell sponge sponge is a piece of soft light substance that is commonly used for cleaning sponges absorb liquid and are used for washing and cleaning four spell corpse corpse is a dead body especially of a human being rather than an animal example the policeman found a corpse buried underground and the last number five spell the word worship Worship is the feeling or expression of giving glory to God. Just like our examples here, they all worship God. Here I am to worship, here I am to bow down, here I am to say that you're my God. You're all together lovely, all together worthy, all together. That song is entitled Here I Am to Worship by Hillsong Worship. Now, let's check your work. Here's the answer key for our spelling. Done checking? Then, let's move on. Now, let's talk about our guest son Goku. Goku is a survivor of the Saiyan race who was sent to Earth by his parents. He loves to eat. Do you know that he even married for food? During the martial arts tournament, Chi Chi battles Goku. When Goku defeated her, she reminded Goku about the promise he made so long ago. Ouch, 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 ouch. Goku responded by saying that he thought marriage was some sort of cuisine at that time, energy only because he was famished. Nevertheless, he still agreed to uphold his promise to Chi Chi and married her. Goku lives to fight. He always trains himself. He will do anything to make himself stronger. Again, just like what I asked before, if ever Goku and Saitama will fight each other, who do you think will win? Comment your answer down below.
let's start our today's discussion about simple aspect of verbs. The simple aspect includes all verbs in the simple tense, past, present, or future. It is the verb form used to express a fact. The simple aspect can be confusing because it does not make clear if the action is complete action or habitual action. The reader must use context clues to determine the nature of the fact. Context clues? Yes, we discussed that in our lesson number 5 and 7. If you fail to watch our video about it, I put its link in the description box below. Example, Goku trains himself. This is a fact. However, it is unclear whether this action is habitual or just a fact. To provide more context, on Mondays, Goku trains himself. Now, it is clear that this is a habitual action, not just a fact. It is not a complete action since it happens every Monday. The simple aspect is made of the following three simple tenses. The simple past, the simple present, and the simple future tenses. Simple past tense is used to express action that are complete at any time, recent or distant past, or for any duration, length of event. For regular verbs, just add ed to the end of the verb to create the simple past tense. Examples I walk the dog, he played music, we paint the house. On the other hand, the simple present tense is used to express action that is true, normal, or regular. Some examples of actions the present tense expresses include habits, directions, general, truths, and unchanging situations. For regular verbs, the simple present tense is formed by adding s to the main form of the verb. Examples, I walk the dog, he plays music, we paint the house. Take note that in the simple present tense, S is only added at the end of a verb if it is singular. If it is in the plural form, we don't add S. Just keep the verb written in its base form. Meanwhile, the simple future tense is used to express action that will certainly occur at any time later than now. We change the verb into its simple future tense by simply adding will or shall before it. Examples, I will walk the dog. He will play music. We will paint the house. For detailed discussion of each tenses, I will make separate videos for each of them in our succeeding video lessons. Remember, simple aspect is the verb form used to express a fact. It includes all the verbs in the simple tenses, such as the simple past, simple present, and simple future tense. For regular verbs, simple past is formed by adding ed to the verb. Then singular verbs are changed to simple present by simply adding s to the verb. For plural form, just write the base form of the verb. Last, to change the verb into the simple future tense, just simply add will or shall to the verb. Now, let's have an activity. I'm going to read the sentence then say if it is in the simple past tense, simple present tense, or simple future tense. 1. They will buy food for their pets. 2. If your answer is simple future tense, then you are correct. <laughs> 2. Every Saturday, Lisa takes her dog for a walk along the seashore. If your answer is simple present tense, then you are correct. Three, he accidentally stepped on a spiky rock. If your answer is simple past tense, then you are correct. Four, Toby right with pain. If your answer is simple past tense, then you are correct. And then finally, number five, Lisa and Toby will be away from the shore for two weeks.
your answer is simple future tense. Then, you are correct. Let's see if you really learned from our today's lesson. Let's have a sit work. I believe you already have a pen and paper with you, so let's start. For our today's sit work, you're going to read the following sentences very carefully. Then write on your paper whether the verb is past tense, present tense, or future tense. I will only give you a minute to answer this activity. If the time is not enough for you, you may pause this video. Time's up! Let's check your work! Here's the answer key for our today's seat work. All set! I hope you've learned a lot from our today's lesson. I hope that now you know the simple aspects of verbs. Oh yes, I'm still here and it's already late. I need to find Goro for him to return me back home. But anyway, first things first, I would like to thank all of you guys who commented in our previous lesson. There's a lot of comments! So as means of showing my gratitude and appreciation, I would like to post a shout out to the following people. Thank you for your good and encouraging feedbacks in my videos. Your positive comments are important to me. For our other viewers out there, if you also want to give feedback about my videos or just want me to shout out your name in my next video, please do not hesitate to leave a comment down below. Again, your comments are important to me. I would also like to congratulate and shout out to Ayat de los Reyes and Janet Salandanan for passing the seat work of our last lesson. I will mention and congratulate those who were able to finish the video and get a passing score in our seat works, just like what I did earlier. Just comment the score that you'll get in the comment box down below. By the way, the sole purpose of me making video lessons like this is to help children be able to study at home. So in order for this video to reach as many children at home as possible, please share this video to your friends. And again, to help me be encouraged in making video lessons like this, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click the notification bell as well so that you will always be updated to new lessons that I will upload here in my channel. Thank you and see you in our next video. Bye-bye!